Hi everyone, Sheldon Smack, Ben Troy Gillard with you this time around for In Case You Missed It, our look at some of the most talked about news stories in and around Red Deer from the past few days. Sheldon, the Bighorn Country proposal from the province front and center in Red Deer this week, starting last night at a rally you attended downtown. Yes, it was next to the downtown skate park, Troy, and uh, hundreds attended the rally. And essentially what they're calling for is for the provincial government to restart public consultations to put this plan together. So they're kind of upset uh, with how things have been done to this point. And ironically, those public uh, consultations that were postponed earlier in, Jan in January, well, they've been rescheduled. There's actually one underway this afternoon in Drayton Valley and Sunday afternoon here in Red Deer at Westerner Park starting at 1 o'clock uh, the second in those uh, public consultation sessions over the, the very controversial, at least in terms of the process, Bighorn Country proposal. More at rdnewsnow.com. Red Deer Regional Hospital, Sheldon, it's a topic that uh, remains front and center for Red Deer in central Albertans and they had some troubles again this week. Yes Troy, a level three over capacity protocol was issued on Monday. Uh, essentially we spoke with AHS officials and they in this protocol, OCP protocol, uh, lasted until uh, late in the day on Wednesday when uh, high volumes of patients essentially caused this so and it caused AHS and hospital staff to shuffle some patients around to ensure that specialty care services that are offered at Red Deer Regional uh, would be available if someone came in and needed it. Yeah, essentially what level 3 OCP means is that the hospital was full. They couldn't take in patients without uh, having to get others out to, and get them to other care facilities and that kind of thing. Uh, ongoing as it will be until we learn one way or another whether uh, the hospital is going to get new facilities or new services. Uh, more at rdnewsnow.com. Dogs. Um, Sheldon, this took off on social media big time over the past week with some uh, apparent dog stealing uh, attempts, I guess, dog napping attempts in and around Red Deer. Yes, uh, just on Sunday night, uh, there, uh, there was an alleged incident in Highland Green. A man there was taking his dog outside. The dog got loose temporarily. When he went to go find it around the corner, someone already had a, a leash in hand and was allegedly trying to lure his dog away, Troy. So he's uh, been shaken by this event. The dog uh, is with his owner, so nothing bad happened there. But it's uh, lots of people are on high alert for this type of thing. Yeah, numerous reports from Red Deer, even Silver Lake, and around the area claiming that there's been dog napping attempts over the past few days. Our local RCMP detachments, and we've talked to them, they really haven't heard much in terms of reports. So if you are worried about uh, dog safety or have a, a dog kidnapping attempt to report, get a hold of your local RCMP detachment, get them in the loop, and we'll see what we can do about uh, catching those responsible for it, or at least helping to catch those responsible for these incidents. And finally, Sheldon, we are now just two weeks away from the start of the 2019 Canada Winter Games here in Red Deer, the final countdown officially on. Yes, Troy, and having said that, Games officials issued an update to the community on Friday. They say they are ready. The facilities are ready over at RDC, the new residence building, the Celebration Plaza downtown. It's all ready or just about ready with final touches taking place. And uh, we're ready to welcome the country with open arms. Athletes, visitors, you name it. I hope we're ready. We're going to be pretty busy in here for the next too. few weeks. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. 20,000 people coming into Red Deer starting in just a few days from now. Sheldon, thanks for this. Uh, thank you, folks, as always, for watching. And as always, you can learn more about these stories and many, many more at rdnewsnow.com.